Hi everyone and welcome to my new video series. I'm calling it the Stylist's Wardrobe and my aim is to bring you some weekly style tips using the pieces that I have in my own wardrobe which may include some existing pieces, some old pieces that I love bringing out season to season, perhaps some of my new season finds and generally giving you some ideas about how you can perhaps incorporate these trends or these pieces into your own wardrobe. And we're starting off today with what I'm wearing, which is a new season, almost like a grandpa style oversized shirt with beautiful pinstriping. So this is my latest purchase from Topshop, only $59.95, which is really good value, considering it's a beautiful cotton and it's really, really well made. What I love about this shirt, obviously, is the oversized nature of it. It's supposed to be a bit like wearing your grandpa's shirt. So no, it's not, a, uh, it's not my pajamas. It is designed to be a little bit of a drop shoulder. It's supposed to be quite big and generous through the body, a lot of excess fabric. But my favourite part of the shirt is this feature on the, on the sleeve. So you've got this lovely asymmetric cuff, which you can just see there, with a couple of nice buttons. And it is designed to be quite long and cover the hand. It is a bit of another trend of the season. You'll see quite a few jumpers and wind cheaters that have that very long arm look. It is, it is the way it is, uh, which is great for me being tall because I can never find something with a sleeve that's long enough. So the way I've styled this shirt today, I know it's not for everybody, but for those of you that have worked with me over the years, you'll know that I'm often talking about balance and balancing out your look. So for me, I've teamed this today. Um, I've worn it untucked with some skinny-ish jeans and just some, some, little, some little loafers. So I'm keeping it quite casual. But another way if I wanted to um, wear it a little bit differently, perhaps create a different look, is that I might just tuck it in the front. So to do the old front tuck, which is a bit of a favourite of mine, and again, my clients will know that I love this. So what this essentially does is it gives me a longer leg line. So for those women who are perhaps longer in the body, shorter in the legs, this is a great look to make you look taller. It draws the eye up to the waist, particularly if you've got a nice sort of high rise jean like I have. These are no body denim. They are the slim boyfriend. So they're not super, super skinny. They've got a really nice amount of stretch in them and they are really super comfy and made in Melbourne. We love that. So that's one way that I would style it just to give my outfit a little bit more shape. And then another way, which is a bit trendy, I'm going to undo this button here, maybe the top bottom two buttons and just tuck in half of it and leave half out. Now, if I was doing this look, I would probably switch my shoes and possibly put on a little bit of a heel just to, I don't know, create a little bit more balance. But that's another look that you'll see the season. So not everything's going to be up your alley or your cup of tea, but I just wanted to show you a few different ways. The other way that you could wear this style of shirt, which there are plenty of around, by the way, if you're a corporate woman, you could wear it tucked into a really nice pencil skirt, obviously take away a lot of that fabric, and then it's just a really nice, clean shirt. Uh, a nice pair of tailored trousers would look really, really lovely. As I said, this one's from Topshop, but there are quite a lot of styles around. This one was only $60. You can get them from Sportscraft, from Dotty. There are also some higher end designers like Scanlon Theodore, Jack and Jack, Basic, who also have their versions of this. So there's a lot around. The key is the, is the nice pinstripe. That's gonna give it a nice fresh look. And I love the color. This is such a flattering color for everybody, whether you're blonde, brunette, dark skin, fair skinned, freckly, this color blue is really, really flattering. So I hope you enjoyed my first video series. Please um, add your feedback, questions, comments. Uh, I'd like this to be as interactive as possible and I'll be back next week with a new one. Bye.